Well, good, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop, and I'm back on the kitchen counter. Well, not physically, but you know what I mean. Look, I've got some stuff. Now, some of it you've already seen. I'll go real fast over that. And then the rest of it I'll, I'll talk about just a, a little bit. Everything, well, almost everything is for sale in the Old Curiosity Shop. The link is in the description box below. I guess I'll start with what's not for sale, and that's this turkey lurk right back here. He dates to 1981, and he's bicycle, of course. Uh, I'm keeping him. I bought him this weekend at a flea market, and I did some reconstructive surgery last night because he was decapitated when I got him. That was the only damage. All his tail feathers are beautiful. But you can see here... We had to do a little bit of work on the neckline right here. <laughs> we probably all might need to have a little bit of work done on our necklines at some point. Oh, just get wrinkled. Who cares? And that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, he's from 1981. Uh, we had him in my home when I was a boy. When I just entered high school in 1981. I don't know what happened. I don't think it's around anymore. But when I saw it, I had to get it. It was only $3.00. And I was actually able, rather than to use tape, which would show up, get over here, uh, I used super glue, believe it or not, and just glued his head right back on. So I'm going to keep him and decorate with him this uh, Thanksgiving season. Also this weekend at the flea market, uh, for $2, I bought this, this massive book back here called American Glass, The Fine Art of Glass Making in America. And this um, was originally published in the, in the 1940s and was reprinted several times. Oh my goodness, I, I got into it last night and it was like I was soaking the information up like a sponge. I can't wait to, to continue reading through that and then I want to thank my former college roommate who sent me for my birthday now I don't really know how to delicately do this because <laughs> I don't want people wishing me a happy birthday well I mean I do but my birthday was in July and this came in the mail and he said sorry it's late so I, hey I love it I think it's a great birthday gift I'm thrilled to get it any day of the year so thank you to my former former college roommate who sent me this for my July birthday. Uh, I love it. I don't know who made it. It's Art Deco. It's cream. It's green. It's even got a little bit of pink on it. And uh, as I said, he knows my taste. I like this a lot. USA on the bottom. And uh, really Deco. And I just love the colors on that. So... Thank you, former college roommate. Uh, yes, okay, everything else is for sale. So over here is a uh, tobacco jar. Now, it's only four inches on the inside, so it is not quite tall enough for cigars. But you could use it as a humidor and keep loose leaf tobacco in it. Uh, or you can put cigarettes in it. Sometimes these came down and would fit down inside of a, of a uh, wooden frame. And, and then tobacco pipes would be all around it. You know, your grandfather's had one. Same as mine. Sort of a hammered top. In good shape. The glass is all in really good condition. Very heavy and really nice condition, this glass. 
Uh, don't smoke. Don't worry. I don't either. Put cotton balls in it. Use it in the bathroom or put your sweet and low in it. Uh, I actually forgot there's one more thing I'm keeping and that's the little collection of lock-ons here. And these aren't the cheap ones that are being made overseas. I mistakenly bought some of those and boy they're no good. These are the old ones that are going to date to around 1950 and I needed some extras to go with the train set so these will be part of the Lionel train display this year when I get my dad's train set out. Uh, and my grandfather's as well. That's that's all. Oops, I got my... Wait a minute. I'm glad you can't see this. I bent down and I got my pants stuck on the <laughs> cabinet door knob. Okay, I'm loose. Ooh, you really didn't need to know all that, but that's what they are. Fire King. The oven-proof glass made by the Anchor Hawking Company, and this is the color that they refer to as Delphite. Of course, it says Fire King on the bottom. And these are those splash-proof bowls. Very mid-century modern. This is the seven and a half inch size that came out of the nesting set. And these are popular today, just as they were at that time. Keeping very good time, speaking of time, is this Art Deco clock. I keep forgetting the name of the maker because it's not on the face. So let's turn it upside down. I think it was made in Chicago. I, I, bet, it, I bet it wasn't. I bet it was made in somewhere. Oh, it was made in Cincinnati. Okay, it's a Lackner, L-A-C-K-N-E-R. They made lots of uh, commercial clocks, you know, for stores and things. Advertising clocks is what I'm trying to think of, with lights and everything. I think you've seen this before. It's just a small desk clock in mottled Bakelite, which you can't really see in this. You might see a little bit of it there. Almost the tortoise shell look. And it's keeping beautiful time. It has a scuff right here on the top and a scuff on the side, which a little bit of shoe polish would help, but you're never really going to be able to completely get that to go away because this is Bakelite. But the cabinet is not cracked or chipped and it has a really nice Art Deco face. And it's quiet. You know, a lot of these old clocks, they make so much noise, you can, you can hear them all over the house. This one just has a very, very soft hum. You can't even hardly hear it. And look how smoothly that second hand sweeps across. I put a new electric cord on it, and it's been keeping time perfectly. So that probably dates to around 1940 or so. Also from the 40s is this... Alamo set of salt and pepper shakers shakers and I want to thank a subscriber who let me know that this was the Alamo Pottery Company I didn't even have a didn't even have to do any research they were in business from 40 45 to 51 I think just a few years in uh, San Antonio Texas which I had the privilege to visit uh, oh, about 10 years ago or so. Did the river walk and all that stuff. I was there for a convention, actually. This, These are heavy, almost like a range set. They have their corks in the bottom. I really like this pale yellow, tan, canary, vellum, toasted coconut color buff, I suppose. It's really almost the same as the clock face right there. They're in the shape of a stop sign, an octagon, and that is repeated on the front. So I like these, and there aren't any chips or cracks on them. A lot of you are going, oh, I remember that stuff back there. How many of you ate your, oh, oatmeal out of those? That's the Hazel Atlas crinoline pattern, as it's known by collectors, and so 50s in the blue and pink I've got four cereal bowls and I think six saucers there broken up into two auctions and I can remember 
thir about 30 years ago or so, nobody was really interested in this. People weren't buying it. It's kind of like, you know, remember before the Pyrex craze? Well, I remember before this was even collected and you could pick it up for nothing. It's very popular, that crinoline pattern. You saw this before, but I want to give you an update. It is indeed uh, made by the Weller Company. A very nice man uh, sent me a message. I had it listed, and he said, Oh, yep, it sure is Weller okay. And it's an original, not a reproduction. Reproductions have been made, but this is the real thing. A pottery frog probably from the 1920s. Here's that picture frame again. I finally got it listed. I talked about that before. So uh, if you're interested, it's up and running and you can go and check it out. And then finally over here is, is it finally? No, I forgot the, the uh, motto. And if we look at the back and focus in on it, you'll see copyright. Many times there's a date, there isn't, but we already know this has to date to around 19... 35-ish. We can tell by the graphic here, the chair, the fireplace, and the wonderful Art Deco font that they used here for the poem itself uh, by J.P. McAvoy. Mac McAvoy. And this would hang in a guest room. Guest, you're welcome here. Be at your ease. Get up when you're ready. Go to bed when you please. Happy to share with you such as we've got. The leak in the roof and the soup in the pot. You don't have to thank us or laugh at our jokes. Sit deep and come often. You're one of the folks. I love that. You know, I love that line. Sit deep. You ever invite people over and they kind of just like sit on the corner of your couch? Sit down, move the pillows, sit back, settle in. I love that line, sit deep, sit deep. And there's the original, it's in the original frame. Um, anytime you see Booza, and I never know whether it's Booza or Buzza, somebody told me, is it like Ruth Buzzy, the Buzza Company or the Booza Company? I guess it's Buzza. Uh, they made, they're, they're well known for these mottos and these are highly collectible, not necessarily highly valuable, but you can have a collection of these. I've been to someone's home before where they had probably 200 of these all meticulously placed on the wall. Boy, that was something else to try to geometrically, geometrically get all those to fit on the wall. But that's really sweet. And then finally over here is a beautiful dresser tray in porcelain. Uh, it is all hand painted and it simply says Limoges, France on the back. So the Limoges region of France, so many potteries there. Beautifully painted, probably was shipped off as a blank and then painted either in Europe or in this country. It's pretty and there's no damage to it. It's hard to read, but it does say Limoges, France right there, and then some other numbers on the back. Well, I think that's it. It's a small haul, but I'm working on some other things, and there'll be more to come this week. So I hope you enjoy this little trip down memory lane. Okay, folks, that's it. I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop. As always, saying thanks for watching, and so long for now.